This is a Love Life Horoscope Terry reading for Aquarius, from May 3rd to the 17th, 2022. I'm going to pull and meditate on your first spread so that you can be part of the vision. Now, let's see, what do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? Nine of Swords. The Six of Swords. And the Three of Cups. There's something here. You're you're being pulled towards. It's like a uh, a soul group is developing here for you. I'm seeing three people here, three people here. You may be starting off this period in this in this feeling of isolation, of feeling alone, a little bit of stress in that, but. With that, it's it's because of that stress you're being pulled towards something very wonderful. Something that that's really, it's like a group that that touches you in some way, like like in terms of your emotions, like you see eye to eye. Let's uh, let's do a vision. Bear with me. Sometimes it takes a moment to get to get centered, but I'm already seeing something here. It's it's interesting. Like, like I should explain my vision. Sometimes I get a concept. Sometimes I see like a picture that I can explain. But sometimes sometimes it's it's a concept. It, it, it's, it's this energy where. It's 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 like who whoever these people are, they they were, they were not with you like like they they weren't seeing eye to eye with you. But more than that, it was like your opposition. Like they were, uh, what's the word? Uh, the word's not coming to mind, so it can't be that, but. It's almost like some sort of competition, some sort of, I don't want to say rivalry, but it is that, that sense that like somehow your rivals are becoming your, your friends here. I'm seeing, like, <laughs> I'm seeing like sales like that. That's the only thing that, that I have a glimmerance of seeing. And it makes me think of like the wind beneath my wings, the wind in my sails. It, it's this, it's kind of like you're both pushing towards the same goal. Oh, my eyes are open now. I forgot about the six of swords, the boat. Interesting. I'm getting, like, looking at these cards now, I'm getting the sense that you're the one that's kind of pushing. You're the one that, that is, if I were to say, you know, it, it's you here that that's steering the boat. There, there's a land, and I don't feel anyone here has ever been to this this new shore, but you're the one that, that has the trajectory for it. These people are joining you. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. What is that? Actually, no, let's clarify the Six of Swords. Because, yeah, the sale. For you, maturity. For them, humility. You, you've achieved something in terms of your maturity, in terms of your level of understanding. You've progressed. You've out-progressed them. 
They're humbled by your progress. They want to join you here. Hmm. What are you moving towards? Let's ask that. The Eight of Swords. The Seven of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. It's a challenging, something very challenging here. Eight of Swords. Like, this is your energy. I can't really see what, what's going on with them. But you're the one that, that's making the... You're directing. You're, you're the one that, that is, is instructing here with this Queen of Swords energy. Whatever you're, you're moving towards, you're coming from a place of... Like, this is all coming from the, this place of pain. And it's... It's like you're freeing yourself from these constrictions, but not only that, it's, it's like some sort of thing that, that is challenging. Like you're the one that, that is, it's like you're stepping into your power, I want to say. Like you're not going to let things stop you the way they stopped you before. There's momentum that's developing, but it's it's developing from this inner drive within you to succeed. But also, it, it has something to do with your maturity and your level of understanding. Something that you can speak clearly about. It's like you're you have a a way of influencing. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. You, you may be dealing with another air sign, Aries, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What is the Queen of Swords for you? Merits. You've achieved something in terms of your ability to, to have a platform, to, to, to be someone that is listened to. For them, altruism. Like your ability to influence with whatever you have that, that, that's put you into this position. You're, you're influencing people to not just join you, but to join you without having to pay them in a sense. It, it's not like, it's like whatever your aim is, it, it's, it connects to people on a very personal level that, that they want to they want to take a risk with you. They, they, it's not like they're getting any real reward, but it, it's kind of like some sort of truth. Hmm. Like they're doing it selflessly, not seeing you having to pay for these people. But we did talk about a soul group. So even though you, you may not have had you may have been rivals in the past it's kind of like they they believe in you now they believe in what you're saying to the point that they're on your side this is very loyal energy you demand loyalty and they're giving it to you what uh what are you achieving with these people Or what are they loyal to you about? <laughs> the sun wanted to pop out as soon as I thought of that question. The seven of swords and the nine of wands. You've been through some sort of difficulty here. I almost want to say that, that there was something that was barricading you like you've healed from it you, you found a way to heal from something that that wasn't right it's like you were you were very constricted before still trying to think of that that sail
there's something that you healed from in your energy. It's like, it's like you don't want anyone else to have to go through something that you've had to go through. Let's clarify this Nine of Wands. For what happened in your past, success for your present, art, beauty. Something was stopping you from having success. It was like stealing your success. It's making things very difficult for you. You've healed from that in a very beautiful way. It's like you're not, you're not taking resent with you. And that is a very powerful thing. When you heal from something without having resent against the lesson that, that you had to learn, that's what makes people believe in you because you're not doing something out of a place of revenge. You received a very beautiful lesson and it was, it was at the cost of something that, that was debilitating you from having success. Something that was almost like imprisoning you. But you found the beauty within that. You found the beauty within this lesson. It's very interesting. In the extended, we're going to go to the random situation questions because this is, I feel there's a lot of people involved in this, but you're the one that, that is, is pushing forward. They're, they're coming in as support, but it's almost like a team effort here. So we're going to go to the random situation questions. We'll ask, what do you need to know before you enter into this situation? What hidden opportunity lays within this situation? Yeah, we see you kind of going into no man's land. So we'll see the hidden opportunity. What is a message for your highest good in regard to this situation? And we'll ask, what advice does your guardian angel have for you in regard to the situation? So those last two questions are going to be packed full of advice. Huh. Perfect. All right. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.